saved you of the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother White, and those ladies who blessed us in some service on today. Amen. God has blessed us, and God has kept us, and we're blessed by the best. And His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's continue to pray for all of our sick and shed by ashes, too. Amen. Pray for Sister Opal Jones. Amen. Pray for her. Keep her lifted up before the Lord in prayer. Amen.
church, amen. Amen. Sitting there thinking what God has done for all of us. Yes. And I can't help but say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank God to Jesus for He is because we are God the whole. I was thinking about the promises that require our saying he promised us over well over two thousand years ago that he would never, never leave us. Whether you're young or old, I don't know what you get through, but he does. But you are witness right today knowing that it was him who brought you here. It was him who kept you soul to life. You know, last night while we was tossing and turning, the danger seen and unseen, it was him standing right by your side. That's why we ought to be always thankful for the presence of the Lord in our lives. I can't you know, I don't know what he's done for you, but I can only testify what he's done for me. Because yeah. I've been through some days with some toils and snares. But I know he was nobody but the Lord has kept me through the years. And so, likewise, you are a witness also. You can testify for yourself that it's nobody but the Lord who's keeping us. And that's why we want to Hold on to the Lord's unchanging hand. Knowing that whatever you stand in need of, yeah. He can do it. Yeah. We don't have to go through the priest anymore. That's right. All you have to do is go to Jesus Himself. Yeah. He already knows what we need even before we ask. That's right. So He just asks us to come to Him. And that's why I thank God for mercy. Mercy is something none of us deserve. That's why we ought to come to Him. That's right. Seeking for His mercy. Because He's available. Like the choir says, any time of the day. You don't have to wait till Sunday morning. Any time. Of the day. That's why the songwriter said, I need him every hour, every minute of the day. I don't know again what's going on with you, but I believe that he knows every hair of his own for our need. And we thank God for his presence in all our lives. We thank God for the presence. For you this morning, and certainly thank God for the name that we called this morning. And we want to pray for them and the name that we call as well as others with me on the prayer and prayer list this morning. Because we all need prayer. And when we do talk with Jesus, make everything all right. If you never tried it, you just try it for yourself. And he can make all the difference in your life. So we want to continue to pray for Zion. We want to pray for all the names that have called us on. And we want to pray one for another. So if you don't mind, those of you who can't stand with us, we want to take our petitions to the Lord and he can hear our every cry and lead out in the throne. Let us pray. We try to go to our Father. We've got this morning as humble as we know how. All honor, glory, and praise because you're worthy. 
You've been mighty good to us. Your life's father that if it had not been for you, who's on our side, none of us would be here. That's why we come to say thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. For all of the many blessings that you shower upon each and every one of us. Yes. All the days of our lives. Thank you for the mountains that you brought us over. You didn't move the mountain, but you gave us to it. Come over the mountains. Yes. Through sickness, Father, you brought us. Well, again, Lord, you brought us out of the hospital, out of the things that we were not aware of. Yes. You kept us, Lord, when we were hungry. You kept us, Father, when we didn't even know anything about you. That's right. So we want to come this morning, as humble as we know how, to say thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your patience. With all of us, thank you for your long suffering. Or yeah. realize that all of us have sinned and come short. All the more that we thank you for forgiveness of our sins. So that's why we come this morning. Thank you for the free gift of salvation. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who gathered here this morning. Yes. Your house of worship, not only here at Zion, but all over the world. Wherever the need may be, Lord, we ask you to just meet it. Meet those fathers who are sick. Meet those fathers who are calling your way, your name, unholy. But right now here in Zion, Lord, we realize there are many on the sick list. Yes, Lord. And we pray for them this morning. Please, Lord Jesus. That's why we come, Lord, to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. For your unconditional love for us. We thank you for your faithfulness toward us. Even when we were unfaithful, Lord, you fed us. When we were hungry, you clothed in us. When we were naked, Lord, you gave us jobs that we didn't take. You put loose on our heads. You enable us to get up this morning and dress our own self. Yeah. And we want to say thank you, Master. Yeah. As we come this morning, most of all, we want to thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for our yeah. sins. Father, you were put in a fire tomb, man. Yeah. But early the third day, you got it. But all power in your hand for our judgment. Thank you this morning for the promises that you made to each of us. We thank you, Lord, for your foreknowledge. We thank you, Lord, for your predestination. We thank you, Lord, for you electing us and adopting us into your family, Lord. We realize, Father, that. All of our men comes from you. Yes. We ask right now if there's anyone here this morning that don't know you this morning in the part of their sins. Yes. We ask you to just fix it this morning. Please, Lord Jesus. For it's everlasting too late. Yes, sir. Remember the name that's been called this morning. Remember my nephew who's in rehab. Remember all, Father, who was sick and shut in. Remember Sister Annie Johnson's brother. Yes, Lord. Comfort him and Please, Lord thank Jesus. Thank you for the testimony of oh, Lord yes. Willis. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. For all your many, many yeah. blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, every family that's represented here this morning. Whatever they are going through, we ask you to just fix it. But yeah. well, we know you can because yeah. you never lost your case. Yes. So when Lord, we ask you to look down upon Jews and Gentiles. All over the world, anyone that's not like you, even 
for this worship experience. Lord, we thank you for every song, for every scripture, for every prayer. Now, Lord, we pray that you will keep right on blessing us even in this place on this morning. Lord, we thank you for your amazing grace. We were lost, but now we're found. Lord, we were blind, but now we see. Thank you, Lord, for saving us, for coming into our lives. We had no God on our heart, in our mind. Lord, thank you for saving us. Thank you, Father God. Now, Lord, we're on our way to heaven. Now, Lord, we accept you into our lives, Lord, and Savior. You said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. That no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Lord, have that way in this place on this morning. To the end, Lord, that we can give you all praise, honor, and glory. Now, Lord, allow the very words of my mouth. The meditations of thy heart shall be acceptable in thy sight. For Lord, you are my strength, and you are our name. For in the precious and mighty name of Jesus of Christ, the Savior, that we do pray. And all the people of God said, Amen. 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 Jesus Christ. 
Christ. All right? Let us go to church. Amen. Just think about this morning. If everyone in this building brought at least one person with you, All right. then the number will be done. But amen. We got up this morning out of nice, comfortable days. Amen. We got dressed, ready to come to church. And we, if we invited them, amen. They didn't come. Or if we thought they might come, amen. If they didn't show up, All right. amen. Let us go to church because we need each other. Amen. It's about, about what can, amen, the church do for me. But what can I do for my church? If every member in the church is like me, what kind of church would I have? What kind of church would I would I welcome people into the community of the church? Hebrews deal with the powerful role, amen, the Christian community and the fellowship play in encouraging Christians to grow and preserve their faith in the church. Amen. Sometimes things get hard in life. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Sometimes, amen, our way gets rough and yes, yes, right. Right. And instead of drawing nearer to God, uh -huh. amen, we forsake uh -huh. the assembly of ourselves together. Uh -huh. We also say, when things get better in my life, uh -huh. then I'll come back uh -huh. to the church. Uh -huh. But God has designed us to need one another. Not only in the good times of life, but also in the difficult times of life. Of often we are unaware of how great that need is until we actually experience the Christian community. Amen. Isn't it wonderful to have brothers and sisters in Christ? Yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. That you can lean on in times of need. Yeah. Right? Isn't it wonderful to have a, a sister or brother that you can call on yeah. that will pray with you and oh, not right. pray with all of you in yeah. your time? Yeah. All I'm trying to say on is stay in the church. Amen. I don't care whether the need is great or small. Amen. Your membership in the church, you ought to stay connected to the body of Christ. As a plant grows strong and healthy in good soil, God has designed us to also grow by staying connected to the church. Yeah. Amen. Because every time that you miss a service in church, you miss a prayer that was prayed for you. You miss a song that was sung. You miss the fellowship of the brothers and sisters in Christ. So, so, so what I'm trying to say is stay in the church. All right. Amen. Look at all the people. Amen. That we could have encouraged a long way, but they stopped coming to the church. Amen. Look at all. They only came out when they had need. Mm -hmm. But I thank God, amen, as, as we grow and know more about God, God has designed us in such a way that we only can grow if we stay connected. Now once, amen, you cut the vine off from the tree, mm -hmm. that vine will eventually die. Right. Amen. As Christians, we have a corporate responsibility. We must help others who stumble along the way. All right. And falter. We are not judges of nobody. But we ought to be able to help one another. Yes, sir. Along the way. All yeah. right. I think about the those that are strong. Yeah. Ought to bear the infirmities of those that are weak. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah.
Matter of fact, when I look into the Bible, those they men know and the spending with the fourth tree. Noah told them it's gonna rain. Mm -hmm. It's gonna rain. Yeah. But seemed like the more they told them about what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. They said, it's so man, I know what he's talking about. That's right. It never has rained before. Right. No, all the people he just around there. Mm -hmm. Delivering the message from God. Yeah. Amen. Tell them you need to get your house in order. All right. So Jesus is soon to come back. All right. All right. And amen. Yeah. He calls us to lead us to a practical, saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. That he died one day. Mm -hmm. And then he also said he's coming back again. Yes, he is. They say it's been so long then. Mm -hmm. And you're still saying, but he said, they man, draw near for the day is fasting. We must look to Jesus Christ. Because in the church. Matter of fact, the church is not a hospital. But more folks are healed in the church. And he's going to have a local hospital. Right. And it's not a courtroom. But more cases are more in the church right. than in the courtroom. Matter of fact, the church, if you need help, you ought to come to the house of the Lord. Right. And let us go to church. Because if we look at statistics, it says that people have stopped coming to the local church yeah. for whatever the reason. Amen. They say amen since the pandemic. Amen. The church numbers have went down. For the pandemic, we had amen, at least a 40% people that was coming to church. They said since the pandemic, the church percentile has went down to like 30%. Those that come to church. And they don't even count for those amen, that don't come to church. So we need to get out. Give the great commission that Jesus is the Christ. The same, because if we don't tell them, amen, who else will tell them about Jesus? All right, all right. Amen, if we don't, somebody took the time to share with us. And we ought to take the time to share with them. Having, therefore, brethren, the boldness to enter into the holiness of holiness by the blood of Jesus. And we ought to think it's not what can wash away our sins. Yeah, Nothing but the blood. And having the high over the house of God, let us grow near with a true heart. Right. And it's time now for us to start playing church mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. start coming to the church. All right. Yeah.
Amen. Stay with the Lord. Yeah. Because God is the best of you. It has ever happened in our life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Stay with the church. Yes, sir. Stay in the church. All right, and all right. Keep your family in the church. Yes, yes. Because they've been brandishing drugs to the church. Mm. I didn't always want to go. Mm. So really, but I stayed with the Lord. Uh -huh. and, and Grandma and Mother the Lord, and I got where I love the Lord. Yeah. Hey, Amen. She loves Jesus, and I love Jesus. That's all right. She said, Mama, well, stay with the Lord. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I thank God for that prayer. Yeah. I yeah. thank God for those talks. Yeah. Hey, Amen. In the church. Yeah. I have membership yeah. in the church. Not in Oakland, but I, my membership is in the church. Yeah. And I thank God for the fellowship drug us to church. Yeah. Amen. One time we live right across the street from the church. Yeah. We didn't have no excuse for not going to the church. Right. Amen. Yeah. We were in the building, right? thinking William Everson. Yeah. Amen. We didn't miss a Sunday. We were in the building. Yeah. And I thank God I have not been thank saying you. this in my sister. Because you. only what we do for Christ. You're right.